your call with Lynn Doyle starts now. Hi there, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jill Horner, in for Lynn Doyle, who has the night off. So, are you ready for swimsuit season? Well, if you're like most people, the answer is probably no. And if that's the case, then we have some interesting new fitness ideas you might want to check out. And if you're already in tip-top shape, we have some cool new techniques you might want to try on for size. It's Your Call was recently on location at the fourth Philly Fit Bash, which was sponsored by Philly Fit and Jersey Fit Magazines. The bash featured 150 vendors and exhibitors, along with workout demos and fun activities for the entire family. And it's special special guest included world famous fitness guru Billy Blanks who we'll hear from later on in the show. Right now though we're going to meet the brains behind the bash. Jamie Appenzeller is the owner of Philly Fit and Jersey Fit magazines. She's joining me right now right off the top this hour. Jamie thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Jamie explain to us a little bit about the concept behind the Philly yeah. Fit bash. How did you come up with this idea? Yeah it started out um, as a party, you know, I have Philly Fit Magazine and the magazines, a ton of health and fitness information, all local, all in one place. Um, and by default, I just so happened to come across a little bit of everything that's out there. And people used to always say, God, I wish I had your contacts or I wish I knew the people that you knew. And I kept thinking, you know, that's, that's, that's a good point. Maybe I ought to try and put my magazine in person um, so everybody could meet each other and kind of have the same blessing that I had, which was getting to know everybody and, and, and grow from there. So it started out being a party, and it was, you know, 18 vendors and a thousand people and just a heck of a time. And we all got together and mingled and networked and opened it up to the public, but it primarily was business to business. And then um, we publicized the party after we had it and said, hey, we're going to have another, you know, in three months, come on out. 94 tables, 4,000 people, and the bash number two you know, was born. Uh, publicized it again and said, man, this is great. We just had a killer party. You guys got to come out and meet all these people. And uh, 150 vendors, 10,000 people, and absolutely a mob scene in the township trying to shut us down. So we were quite proud and launched bash number four. Same concept, mega party, networking people together, business to business, open to the public. And again, 10,000 people, 150 vendors, and unbelievable. So now we're working on number five. And, and the whole concept of the bash is just to get connected and find something to do. To get and find something that interests yes. you as well. And that's one of the yeah. people, the problems people have with getting interested in exercise. Yeah. You have to find something you love. Yeah, totally. And there's so many choices out there. And I think what's making me crazy is um, people don't really know what's out there. You'll get a little piece of information in a paper or a little bit of information from a news clip or something. The magazine and the bash is tons of information in one place. By the time you've kind of combed around the, ba the bash, you hopefully have found at least one, maybe two, three, four things that interests you and you're going to get started. Now you use the bash as a fundraiser as yeah. well for the yeah. SBCA and the March of Dimes. Yes. Was that successful? Yeah, that was. Um, the first bash cost me some money. Second bash cost a few bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Third bash, um, 150 vendors, we knew we were onto some money here. So uh, we were like, alright, let's cover our expenses, um, create the bash, pay for it all, and anything left over, let's just donate to charity. And it was like two grand. So we were real proud of that, you know. Didn't cost me a penny. And um, donated some money out. The fourth bash, same thing again, same concept, and we raised $4,300. So we're getting there, you know. We're starting to master the plan now and trying to incorporate, incorporate some other ideas to raise some money. Um, so maybe we can get those figures up to 10, 10 grand, 15 grand. Why would you encourage people to come out to an event like this? What can they take away from the experience, even if they're not on an exercise regimen yeah. to begin with? Yeah. Um, first of all, I think they're going to go away with a sense of um, community and camaraderie that I think is really intense can't explain it, you almost kind of need to be there. You were there, mm -hmm. so you can back me on this one. It, it, it's intense. Um, there's so much energy and excitement. It's so motivational. Even if you're really coming just to see what's going on, I think by the time you leave, you really feel energized and, and you think maybe you belong part of that crowd. And, and that's part of the point of, of what you're doing in, yeah. in terms of the magazine and the Fit Bash as well. Yeah. The next one's in September. Yeah, September 24th, Sunday, okay. 11 to 3, Villanova. Okay, so we're, we're seeing really a lot of effects from the Philly Fit Fest now, yes. Philly Fit Bash, in terms of, of getting people motivated, and that seems to be the end goal. Yeah, it is. Um, I think the problem is you, you can almost get motivated for a moment, mm -hmm. but then it seems to disappear and fade off. 
So we're doing three bashes a year. Maybe if somebody comes to bash, they get all fired up and motivated, they go and join something, and then within a month or two, they start slipping off a little bit. We've got another bash right around the corner. Get back to our bash, <laughs> hop back on. Eventually, it becomes customary, it becomes routine, as does anything with working out. So the bashes are a couple times a year, and hopefully people, if they fall off the bandwagon, they come back out and get back on. So it's like a shot of adren yeah. adrenaline for your workout. Yeah, That's totally. All right, well, do you have questions about how you can get in better shape for the summer? We all do. <laughs> do you want information on the latest fitness trends or maybe you've got questions for others to help them get healthier. There are many ways for you to be interactive here. You can give us a call, email at cn8.tv. You can take our web poll there as well. When you log on, go to CN8 Programs and find It's Your Call and check out our web page. If you want to jump start on Monday night's topics, we're going to talk about Ben Roethlisberger's motorcycle accident and, and whether he should have been wearing a helmet. You can email us tonight to be sure you get on the air for Monday. Right now, though, our focus is on fitness fitness and making it a bit more palatable for the summer. I learned firsthand about fitness fun at the recent bash. Well, there was certainly something for everyone to learn, see, or say about fitness at the bash. We're the gym in Roarsford, Lady of America. It's a fitness club specifically for women. And we've come here to show what our gym is all about. Lady of America is all about fitness, well-being, and feeling very good about yourself. Hey, guys. I just, I want to know what uh, you guys do to stay fit. Because um, it's working. Well, we, uh, we, we, work, we all work out together every day. You do? Yeah. A lot of dancing? Yeah, lot Definitely, of a lot of dancing. That's Very what clear I heard. <laughs> now, is that an important part of your family to get out and stay active together? It's, it's really important for us to get out. We have a lot of fun that way. We spend a lot of great time together, and it's always a blast. Now, you guys are out here having a good time and exercising. What's the best part about it? Um, I like to slide. Why do you think it's important for kids and teenagers to be involved with sports and, and athletics? Just to keep their heart good and keep them fit and so, so they won't go fat and stuff. Great advice from a guy who, like others, knows the benefit of a hard workout, like rock climbing. What was it like to, to rock climb? It was good. Okay, why well, was it good? What did you like about it? Uh, I don't know, I just like the climb, so it's good for your muscles and stuff. And rock climbing has hit an all-time high, so to speak. Is this becoming more and more popular as a, a, a way to work out, a fitness trend, not just a hobby? Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, climbing's never really been a hobby. Climbing's a pretty intense sport. But when we took it inside, we took the weather element out of it. So a lot of climbers come in in order to get in shape to go climbing. We have more people coming in nowadays looking for a kind of fitness activity activity that's not like what they're used to. They don't want to be on the machines, they don't want to just run around a track, they want something that keeps their mind engaged as much as their body. The biggest mistake people make in climbing is they think it's about pulling their way up the wall. But climbing is actually a very balance oriented sport. Yeah, there's some upper body involved, but there's a lot more lower body than you might think. So if you treat each one of these handholds that we put on the wall like they're a rung on a ladder. It's a really funky ladder, but it's still a ladder. So you climb it the same way. I thought I'd give it a go myself, and it seems I wasn't the only one looking to get fit. Dr. Rob, it's fancy meeting you here. You know, Jill, I've missed you. Speakers, we'd have to meet on a mountain. <laughs> you know, we've talked in the past about exercise trends, fitness trends, but this really shows you can get out of the gym, get out of your house, and go have a good time doing something you like. Well, people think exercise means you have to go on a routine. Just have fun. Do something you like and enjoy, like climbing or biking. It doesn't have to go inside to a fitness facility. Just enjoy yourself. And have a good time. And that's really the point of this. Is this really a good workout? Because I sure think it is. Jill, it's awesome. It's great for your legs and for your aerobics and for your arms. And we're going to be sore tomorrow. I'm sore already. <laughs> Jill, it's nice hanging out with you. <laughs> nice hanging out with you too, Dr. Rob. <laughs> Well, Jamie, that's part of the fun that we had at the Philly Fit Bash, but that's what you want people to take away, that yeah. exercise is not a chore, it can be a lot of fun. Absolutely. If it's fun, you'll stick with it. If it's not, you won't. But that's the purpose of something like yeah. rock climbing, kind of mix it up. Absolutely. Okay. Well, many workouts now include everything from bands to balls to bars to bells. I met up with fitness groups. And uh, it's basically to stay active at my age. Not only vanity, you know, wanting to look good, it's mainly for health reasons. 
Those are just a few of the thoughts we gathered on working out from some folks around the region. And before that, the very enthusiastic Spring Valley Heat All-Stars of Pennsylvania giving us a cheer for It's Your Call. Tonight, we're giving you tips on exercise through the help of our fitness ex experts. So give us a call or email at cn8.tv. Tell us what you're doing to get fit for the summer. And speaking of calls, we're going to go to the phones and take our first call of the evening. Tonight, it comes from Susan. Hi, Susan. What are your thoughts on fitness and, and getting in shape for the summer? Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Great. Um, right now, I'm actually on Weight Watchers, and I had just lost 50 pounds. And I want to know, basically, what is the best way to tone my body. Um, I do a treadmill, and I do walk a lot. And I just was really curious, you know, what would you say would be the you know, best type of exercise for me? All right. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations on, on your weight loss, James.